You're welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Joey Sparks. That's two E's, no Y. You heard me, two E's, no Y. And in this video, we are going to be reacting for the very first time to Knox Hill, The Pot and the Kettle. I got early access. I can barely contain myself now. So if you're ready for me to react to The Pot and the Kettle by Knox Hill, then let me know. But first, you know, I got to play my intro. Let's get it, bong. First things first, please do me a favor. Like and comment on all the content, okay? Preferably as soon as it comes out. Helps the video get placed higher in the algorithm for longer. That's the key for longer, and I'll appreciate you for it, okay? Also, if you're new to the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. I'm a music videographer by trade, so that's the POV I take into my reactions. A music videographer, right? I also do reviews and unboxings on the channel, so hit the subscribe button. We got a good group, a nice community here you should just definitely subscribe okay he 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 put out a post you know tag your favorite reactor i want to give them a first look at this the pot and the kettle um i, I want to see it i want to see it so if you are ready for me to see it, then let me know this is filmed by samuel L, uh samuel perry falvey you know I want to see this. So anyways, let's rock. I'm ready. I know y'all ready. I've talked too much. Let's just jump into this. Let's go. My neighbor once had a tea kettle. Oh boy. A tea kettle. What's the Buttery. Buttery. So naturally lit. A tea kettle. My neighbor once had a tea kettle. Mm. A tea kettle. Ooh. A tea kettle. But she ain't even drink tea. Steam in the story gets better. Let me stir the pot. It was made weather. Yeah. I was on probation. Serving some time for some slight complications. Community Oops. Beautiful storytelling. Already right out the gate. Uh, I know the lyric people are going to be like hating on it. But like, yo, you visual folks who are here for this visual love. Yo, this, it's just uh, spending some time for some, what do you say? But she ain't even drink tea. Steam in the story gets better. Let me stir the pot. It was made weather. I was on probation. Serving some time for some slight complications. Community service was serving my papers. So I spent time with this elderly lady. She was my neighbor. She did me some favors. Sit around the house and I would wash the pots. I wipe the tops and spots. I'm waiting, waiting, wait. Stop. Where you going with this waffle plot? You have an old ass hag had a carpet wash. So dear, boo hoo, what an awful job. But well, wait a minute, let me finish and we'll call the cops. Storytelling at its finest. Knox Hill is already giving us a story just with his words. You can almost kind of picture what he's talking about just from the, the words right away. But then I am just stuck on the amount of like production effort that went into filming this angle to this angle to this angle per rhyme and each bar that he's coming in to uh, pause he's like this right so each take right before each bar is it and then they're lining it up it's Tops and spots and waiting, waiting, wait, stop. Where you going with this waffle plot? You have to know that hag had a carpet wash. So dear, boo hoo, what an awful job. But wait a minute, let me finish and we'll call the cops. Call the cops? No, the yob. What's she having a heart attack? No, sit back, relax, I'll recall the facts. Please, we tell my story, that is all I ask. My, my neighbor once had a tea kettle. A tea kettle. A tea kettle. My neighbor once had a tea kettle. A tea kettle. What's the point? A tea kettle. But she ain't even drink tea. Milk with the sugar, drink it down. My favorite drink's a different type of brown. If I had it, she would frown. But who cares? Yeah, who cares? Cause she don't even like This me. is beautifully shot. If I had
I'm trying to figure Yo, out. What's she having a heart attack? No, sit back, relax. I'll recall the facts. If he was talking to himself. It washed, oh dear, boo hoo. What an awful job. Well, wait a minute, let me finish and we'll call the cops. Call the cops? No, the yobs. What's she having a heart attack? No, sit back, relax. I'll recall the facts. Please, retell my story. That is all I ask. Uh, my, my neighbor once had a tea. Love it. Kettle. The chaos. A tea kettle. A tea kettle. My neighbor once For had a tea editing. kettle. A tea kettle. What's the oh, look at that. And it's steadily lighting. Um, okay, so whatever light we're using off camera right over here, right, is um, got a setting on it where you can flicker it, probably police lighting or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Emergency lighting or something like that. And so that's why it's going from blue to red, but it's it's giving nothing but cinematography, right? Like, look, the outline of his nose then there's even a shadow that separates to that to just putting the outline around him. Perfect, masterful. That's that's cinematography at its finest, at its finest, Jack. Let's go. And then and then shout out to this actress here who's like totally committing to this weirdness of like could you imagine trying to explain to her like hey, I need you to look <laughs> into this pie. <laughs> and her going Okay, okay, okay. And then and this is what you get from her, though. Kettle. But she ain't even drank tea. Yeah. Milk with the sugar, drink it down. My favorite drink's a different type of brown. If I Look at this. Depth, okay? So you have her shoulder in this, this frame right here. Blurred out, right? Boca, right? Then right behind, slightly right behind Knox is Boca again, right? Because these aren't in focus. But Knox is crispy in focus. Even you can see his glass is semi-blurry compared to where the focus is landed on his eye. Sorry. Okay, so now he's drinking milk and sugar. I'm I'm slow, bro. I had a shameful frown, but who cares? Yeah, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? That's a brace of a quarter to eight And my fate is awaited And I'm staring at her face And I thought about her face Then they give us something great And say, hey, you're amazing So I took the tea kettle off a shelf It was looking kind of used like a hell Couple stains and it had a funny smell But it always gave a hope It was like a wishing well That's nice She cared for it, I could tell Well, so I knew what to do What's that? Go and get it renewed But I never really understood The construct of renewed That... Okay, he's messing up. If he goes, gets this renewed and washes this tea kettle up, I'm going to be so upset at him. But I know he's going to, for the story's sake. I'm just saying, like, uh, black folks in the movie, that's how, you know, they're like, bro, don't go in that room. <laughs> uh, yo, look at this. So I'm trying to figure out if there is a window right here, right? And so they're simulating or using just natural light from the window. It could more than likely because if this, uh, it doesn't say right here, but I think it's shot by Sam Perry Falvey. So like, I I'm assuming he got the camera where you can get this. Look at the dynamic range. Rembrandt triangle. We can see his eye right here in the whites of it. Don't need to see this one when he turns, right? And just using the natural light from the window. Why? while it's either strong enough to light the background or we're using some assistance and lighting it that well where you can't tell but cuz it's already used why not buy something new she cared for it i could tell well yo and so <laughs> tell me Knox ain't going for like, for like like when he's doing like this hmm, like okay so i don't know how much acting training you had Knox right so like i'm like I'm just addressing it as like if he shows up on set as like, but I can wrap my ass off right and I can deliver my lines the way I need to. You'd be like, okay, bet. Here's what I need you to do. <laughs> I need you to go like this and stuff while you're spitting your rhymes here. He's gotta listen to that direction and then still spit his rhymes and he's going for it. And I love when he comes around the corner how much he's committing to the you know, the lead character who's missing a piece of information, you know, who's like whimsical not to to pay attention storytelling man i'm telling you 
Couple sayings and it had a funny smell. But it always gave a hope. It was like a wishing well. That's nice. She cared for it, I could tell. Well, so I knew what to do. What's that? Go and get it renewed. But I never really understood the construct of renewed. Cause it's already used. Why not buy something new? Ask anyone if they really had to choose. Would they prefer something new? I would. My, my neighbor once had a tea kettle. Ooh, ooh. A tea kettle. Uh. A tea kettle. Uh. My neighbor uh. once had a tea kettle. Uh, what? A tea kettle. What's the point? A tea kettle. But she ain't even drank tea. Melt with the sugar, drink it down my face. Ooh, great location. A tea kettle. What's the point? A tea kettle. But she ain't even drank tea. Right here, that was a good set. Hey, and yo, check this out. One of two things. Now, I, you know, like I don't know how much money went into this production. You either gotta do this like on a timed thing, or you gotta add like a a, a, a diffusing tarp above it, and that's like a big square with like a like a white kind of almost like a shower curtain, right? Um, I think they call it muslin and it, it diffuses lights, meaning to stop it from being so harsh. So the shadows aren't there, but it's still bright, right? So the shadows aren't super dark, but it's super bright. It calls softening the light that what makes me think it could like, it's more than likely not that is just because there's no like definitive line through light anywhere. So there must've been some trees or whatever it is shooting light down here okay you see these little holes through the trees right imagine being on set and th those started right here and you had to film here and you had to hurry up and knock this out before the sun started creeping these patchy holes and splices of lights all over our talent right here i know it has nothing to do with the song <laughs> but i just need to speak about it oh my and I do like kettle. this. Like, What's I can't wait to hear this third act. Kettle. But she ain't even drink tea. Mm. Melt with the sugar, drink it down. My favorite drink's a different type of brown. If I had it, she would frown. But who cares? Yeah, who cares? Cause she don't even like tea. Old antique shop down the road, dark and musty, filled with holes. Took that kettle, they refilled the cuts. A lot of ash and dust that I filled it like up. That. Like that, like like. Old antique shop down the road, dark and musty, filled with holes. Took that kettle, they refilled the cuts. A lot of ash and dust that I filled it up. They had. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Please tell me. That is not what I think it is. It buffed all the scuffs. It was good as new. Maybe I should rethink this whole word renew. Anyways, I took it back home to his owner. <laughs> yeah. Remember earlier when he was like, I really think uh, I never really understood the concept of renewed. <laughs> he said, I gotta rethink this thing renewed. It's such an icebreaker. Uh, when we, as the viewers, I think we know what happened here. Oh. The cuts, a lot of ash and dust that I filled it up. They had it buffed, all the scuffs. It was good as new. Maybe I should rethink this whole word renew. Anyways, I took it back home to its owner. This old and used can renew like a donor. Knock on the door, she was there on a chair. Looking at a shelf with a cold blank stare. Surprise, I'm here. Hey, look what I got. Applied and refreshed. I'd emptied it out. Inside was a mess. Here, Miss Bevel, this is what you wanted. It's your tea kettle. Oh my. Miss Bevel? Why you got a shotgun, Miss Bevel? Put the gift down and I started to trouble. What have you done, you delinquent devil? Why'd you have to go and steal my tea kettle? I, I, you emptied the ash of the husband I loved. No. You wiped all our memories out with a sponge. I, I gave know. you a chance and you ruined what was. But my life is now empty. No. Oh really my. Dumb. Please. Yes, you'll fill it. Oh no. My tea kettle. I'm sorry. My tea kettle. My neighbor once had a tea kettle. A tea kettle. A tea kettle. No, I'm the one living inside. <laughs> Somebody could get up here.
IT anyone? Somebody could get up here. Uh, uh, <laughs> wow, 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 right? Like, wow. Like, shout out to this shot, right? Uh, you can film him on those black, you know, backdrops if they extend down to the floor. You can film him and light him separate like that and then just cut out that circle around him if it's wide enough. Or you could do it on green screen and then just have him, instead of a black background, light him for the green screen and then just cut around him on green screen. And then whatever color you put him on in the background is it. But holy snap, the production value. First of all, phenomenal song. Like to tell stories in like... <sighs> I gotta be honest, sometimes musical storytelling don't hit for me. And like this one, like nailed it. Like for me, this one, this one with visuals and the story to it. Um, I mean, in the amount of production value, cause like we even have to give shout out to the makeup artist here. Right? Like whoever hooked her, uh, this lady up to make her so different from when she had the, the curlers and the rollers in her hair. Right? No mascara, smudge, kind of some rouge, if you will, versus this. <laughs> but I mean, her husband and her memories, bro. Knox, what were you thinking? I know this is, you know, like story for story value. I'm assuming, oh God, if this really happened, no. Like I'm assuming this is story for story value, but I, the, the inspiration for the story is what I'm like curious on. And then also just like who was all involved in, like shout out to the makeup artist. Um, I do believe shot by Sam Perry Falvey. God, I keep saying that. And if it ain't, I saw, I apologize if it was hit by somebody else. Um, I need to know who shot that, uh, for sure, for sure. Um, cause that was, it was just beautiful. So shout out to whoever shot it and who helped light it. Um, Knox for wanting to invest, invest like this storytelling that kettle, is beautiful. That refilled the cuts, a lot of ash and dust that I filled it up. They had it buffed, all the scuffs. It was good as new. Maybe I should rethink this whole word renew. That part, it took me out. Like it took me out. You hear me, Jack? <laughs> Maybe I should rethink this world renewed. But shout out to not being able to see um, Sam or whoever's shooting in uh, in the reflection right here, but being able to see Knox, I mean, that's detail. And then look at, look at the depth here. Everything right here is crystal clean and sharp. And then it's got um, uh, the, the blurred background, the bouquet in the background. It's beautiful, bro. Like, and then the song, but well, she didn't even like T. I once had a tea kettle, a tea kettle, a tea kettle. My neighbor once had a tea kettle, a tea kettle. But you know, not for nothing. <laughs> to Knox or Knox's character's credit, I'm not shooting him all the bail, but I'm giving him a little slice of the bail. It was a tea kettle. Then again, you ain't supposed to touch other people's stuff. It ain't your. But then he was cleaning up the crib. Man. Whew. This is rough, y'all. Like, if we was in the court. Don't, don't, don't. Don't, don't, don't. And we was in the people's court trying to figure out, you know, like, it wouldn't be small claims, obviously. Uh, that's horrible. Um, it was her husband. And it was crazy because my father is like cremated too, but we got him in an urn, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not like a tea kettle where somebody messed it up and it's got like pictures of the family around it and what have you. So it was like either 
He said it smelled funny. This. <laughs> Shout out to you. Shout out to the production crew on this. And I mean, from top to bottom, um, the shooters down to the hair and makeup and everybody produced on that. What do you guys think? What was your favorite portion of this? Uh, exceptional display of storytelling. You tell me. Tell me what's your favorite part. Tell me things that I might need to see on a second watch if I haven't caught it on my second or third watch from now. You know what I mean? Like, let me know. But other than that, uh, if you enjoyed this, hit the subscribe button. Music videographer by trade. That's why I look at this like a music videographer. And kudos to the music videographer on this. Um, also, I enjoy music. So, like, Knox, a fresh way of storytelling that, that had, like I said, I even could call it the third act. And I was like, I can't wait to find out what happens in the third act. So, shout out to you. Um, and then, you know, yo, you like and comment on this subscribe to the channel and if you're not subbed up to Knox, you got him over a milli so i mean you should be um if you can see i am i've been you know what i'm saying before this uh, the sneak peek access so oh man jack i can't wait for y'all to see this i know y'all are seeing this right now but i'm early and this is this is a masterpiece i wonder if he sent it to my boy p because i could talk to p about it and be like yo check it oh i'm inspired i'm inspired i'm inspired all right y'all i'll catch y'all on the next video <laughs> till next time peace